Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and today we're going to be doing some of the dreaded new math. Um, we're going to subtract using the CD method or the combined differences method, the combined differences method. All right, so we have 796 minus 382, and we're trying to find the difference. So with the combined differences method, we're going to use numbers that end in zero to our benefit and to our advantage, because that makes the math easier. And also, we're going to create a series of smaller subtraction problems and then add up those differences to find our, our total difference or our complete difference. So this is what we do. We start with 796 and then we think of a number that's less than 796 but ends in zero. So the closest number less than 796 that ends in zero is 790. So we're going to have 796 and 790. And then we're going to have the next number beneath 790, less than 790, right? Um, actually not the next number, but we're going to go down to 700, right? Because it's an easier subtraction problem, right? Because that's the goal. The goal with the combined differences method is to create a series of easier subtraction problems, all right? So 796 minus 90 is not that difficult. We're gonna do that in a moment. And then we're gonna go from 790 down to 700, all right? And then we're gonna go from 700 down to 400. Now, why are we going to 400? Because remember, we're trying to get to 382. We're trying to get to 382. And 400 is the smallest number that is still bigger than 382 and ends in two zeros. So then we go from 400 to 390, right? And because 390 is still bigger than 382. And then we go from 390 to 382, right? Now that we've written all these numbers out, now we're just gonna find the differences between every pair of numbers. So the difference between 796 and 790 is six. And then the difference between 790 and 700 is 90. And then the difference between 700 and 400 is 300. And then the difference between 400 and 390 is 10. Then the difference between 390 and 382 is 8. So these are our differences. And then we're going to combine them to a total. And then that's going to be the actual difference. So I like to start with the biggest number, the biggest difference, which will be 300, right? And then I go, I just, you know, find the smaller number. So the next small, next bigger number. So 300 plus 90 is 390. 390 plus 10 is 400, and then 400 plus 8 is 408, 408 plus 6 is 414. So the difference between 796 and 382 is 414. And that's today's lesson.